Well, this is great. I can't believe we're I here. I can't either. <laughs> and it only took us how long? About an hour. I think so. I think so. Beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. day. Hope you can see the ocean in the background here. We're on my porch. There we are. A beautiful porch. And we're in... Can we tell everyone where we are? Yeah. Undisclosed location. Swamscott, Massachusetts. Right across the street from the high school that I went to. Yeah. Which is about to be transformed. Yeah. yeah. So here we are. Here I'm Fiona are. Barrett. And I'm Roberta Chaitis. And this is a new show, 1111, with Chaga Tea. And we have our Chaga Tea right here. Brewed Cheers. right by Fiona. Yep. Cheers. And if you don't know about Chaga Tea, Chaga is a medicinal mushroom. David Wolf recently wrote mm. a fabulous book about the benefits of Chaga. I've been drinking Chaga Tea myself for a little over a year now. I drink it every day. It's great for boosting your immune system. It's known to help prevent cancer, lower cholesterol. And, and it's delicious. It's delicious. Totally we delicious. We love it. We love our chaga tea. So we decided to name our show that we're going to create for you. 11.11 at 11.11 every Monday. Every Monday. And we will be drinking our chaga tea. And we recommend that you try this if you haven't already. There's a recipe link below this show episode that you can connect and create your own chaga tea and join us every Monday for 1111 with chaga tea. It sounds great. I have never made this chaga tea myself. Oh. So I will go directly to that recipe and give it a whirl. You should, yes. I should. And I have a crock pot. I know yeah. to use a crock pot to keep it hot on the stove. Not I on do. The stove. I I I keep my chaga tea brewing all day and all night in the crock pot. You don't have to do that, but that's how I do it. And I really like it. I keep replenishing it with some spring water as it evaporates and as I drink it. And it gives a nice, um, almost like a humidifying effect in the kitchen as well with the steam that comes Fiona, from. did you mention that chaga is a mushroom, by the I way? Did. You did? Yes. It's a medicinal mushroom. It's a medicinal mushroom. Wild medicinal mushroom. I know. And it was, it was because we went to a lecture oh. on the chaga mushroom, or all kinds of mushrooms. Was yes. it just the chaga? It wasn't just chaga, it was um, all kinds of wild mushrooms. That was fun. That was fun. We met a lot of interesting people and learned a lot about mushrooms, for sure. We did, and actually I'm really glad you brought that up because that's a great way to introduce part of why we're doing this show because after mm -hmm. we enjoyed that talk on wild medicinal mushrooms we then felt inspired by how much fun we were having together that in the same hotel location that this lecture was in there was also a live jazz band playing. Right. Yes. So we finished the lecture on mushrooms and then decided we were having too much fun together <laughs> that we would go and continue our time together and watch the live jazz and it was fabulous. It was fabulous. It was really fabulous. Yeah and that was at Scholar's Jazz mm -hmm. down in Boston. That's right. So yes. So we part of the reason why I love Roberta is that we do all sorts of fun things together often spontaneously as well and I like that. I like that too. <laughs> and Fiona is someone who has brought me into a healthier lifestyle mm -hmm. so that has been an adventure for me. I would never have touched chaga tea. I would never have known about it if I didn't know Fiona. She's also introduced me to, shall I start right now? Oh, My yes. delightful lipstick that's all natural. This one is opulent mm -hmm. and I have used it for quite a while. Here we go. Still available. There's some studies um, that I've started oh. to read about how the angle of your lipstick says something about your personality. Wow. I can't tell you what that means but it would be worth looking it up and maybe we could share that on the we next We could share show. that. Mine are usually uh, dipped in the middle and have an angle going up mm -hmm. and eventually part of it will fall off. It has never fallen off. My supernatural lipstick. Thank Fabulous. You. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Fiona Barrett, the creator of Supernatural Lips. It's available in eight beautiful colors and each color name is infused with an affirmation. So 
Today I am dazzling. I felt that that was appropriate for our first <laughs> show. And you are opulent. Wonderful. Love it. And also Roberta is the she's a published author. That's one of the many fabulous things about Roberta that I love. And she wrote this awesome, adorable book about her golden retriever. And it's if you haven't checked this out yet, it's a fabulous read and it also comes with a really great audio that you can listen to in the car or as background at home. And it's actually Roberta's voice. She has a beautiful voice. And it's very, I find it very calming and soothing for my children. I have two boys, they're 11 and 9, mm -hmm. and they love listening about Good Boy Jesse. It was so wonderful, actually, to have Fiona's boys so enthusiastic about Good Boy Jesse, mm. to have them excited reading a book about a dog that was so, so dear to me, and still is. Uh, this was a a story that I wrote many years ago. Jesse is no longer physically here, but in spirit, he is following me through a new career to bring people like me and Fiona out and expose us to the rest of the world and share all of the things that we are doing. Mm. We happen to know an awful lot of people. We do. We realized where she started to create a list of all the people that we knew, persons of interest, people that inspire us, both in our local community and people that we have met more remotely online, that we may not have met in person, like David Wolf, but it's had a huge impact on our lives, sharing and educating us about chaga and other superfoods. Um, so the purpose of this show that we're putting together every week on a Monday at 11.11 for 11 minutes yes. is for us to, really we wanted to create a holistic version of The View. That's what we wanted to do. And mm -hmm. so we have our own specialty areas of interest, um, but we're realizing that there are also are areas of interest for other people in our community. and. We have learned more on more than one occasion that we are a reflection of the five people that we spend most time with. And Roberta and I spend a lot of time together. <laughs> Don't we look alike? Yeah. And um, <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> um, well, it's okay. It's all right. They say that you can actually start to look like the people that you spend most time mm -hmm. with as well. So that might be something to uh, take into account when you're thinking about this: is who are the five people that I either spend the most time with or want to spend the most time with. And part of the purpose of this show is for us to introduce to you some of the people that we love and adore and have spent time with. Right. There's going to be more than five because we're going to be doing a show every week, but they might become one of your top five. And yes. we want to help build this community of like-minded people. And I think what's very interesting as we developed this concept of bringing a, a TV show out to introduce people that we know and love and support. It is an, a constant overlap of subjects mm. and people. Once I meet someone that I think Fiona might be interested in, they become both of our friends yeah. and we share information. And we've done this many, many times. I'm sure that you've probably done this as well. You meet someone, you find out something about them and you just want to share. You, you just yeah. want to introduce them to everyone you know and that's part of what we would like to do is to share the incredible list of very talented and expert people that we've met. Yeah, and the part of the reason we want to share is because I'm a health coach and a lot of people I talk with recently in the last few months especially are feeling perhaps a little bit isolated or that they're evolving a little bit in themselves and they want to connect with other people who are either going through the same thing as them or interested in the same things as them. And on the surface for them it might feel like they are not connected in their community because they might be evolving from the people that they have spent a lot of time That's with true. into new connections. and seeking new connections that are more heart-based, more of a community.